Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video we will see how to create case assignment rule in Salesforce. So what is case assignment rule in Salesforce? So basically case assignment rule in Salesforce is the process of allocating cases to a certain user or queue within an organization. But now we can also allocate the team to the particular cases also. Then this also helps us manage the case management procedure, speed up the response and boost the customer satisfaction. It also enhances general effectiveness and customer services. Then how we can create case assignment rule in Salesforce. So basically before creating a case assignment rule you have to remember we can only create one active rule per object and in that rule we can define multiple entries and criteria. For creating assignment rule first we need to define rule then we need to define criteria and then we can assign user or queue. Now to better understand let's take a scenario. I want to assign high priority cases to the queue automatically. Then those cases generated from phone inquiry assign those cases to the particular user. This criteria I will define in a one rule only. So without any delay let's jump to the org and we will create case assignment rule. Now this is Salesforce homepage. First I will show you how to assign a case manually in Salesforce. For that navigate to the case object. Then select any case. And here you can see the case owner is this one. Now I want to assign this case to the different owner. So what can I do? You need to click on this change owner icon. Now here you can assign this case to any particular user or queue also. So here I want to assign to different user and then search for the user to whom you want to assign this case. Here I want to assign this case Alex Anderson. As I click on it you can also send notification email to that user then click on change owner. Now here you can see Alex Anderson now owns this case and that changes reflect here also case owner Alex Anderson. Now what if for any particular criteria we want to assign a user or any queue automatically. For that we need to define case assignment rule. Click on gear icon then click on setup and here search for case assignment rule. The case assignment rule is very similar to the lead assignment rule. I have created video on lead assignment rule. I will give link in description box. You can check out there. Here under the feature setting you will see case assignment rules. Click on it. And now as I said if you have any active rule first you need to deactivate it. To deactivate the rule you need to click on activated rule name. Then click on edit button and then here you can see active button unchecked it and then click on save button. Now this rule is deactivated then again click on case assignment rule. Now. Now to better understand let's take a scenario. I want to assign high priority cases to the queue automatically. Then those cases generated from phone inquiry assign those cases to the particular user. This criteria I will define in a one rule only. So without any delay let's jump to the org. Now we will create new rule. For that click on new button. Then enter the rule name. Here I am entering case assignment rule then here you need to activate this rule if you don't activate it will not work so I am clicking on activate button and then click on save now here you can see the case assignment rule and only one is activated now we have seen after the defining rule we need to define criteria for that the rule which you have created click on it and then here you can see rule entries click on new button then in a sort order you need to define number. Enter maximum number and then after saving a rule you can also add another entries also. After that we need to select a criteria for rule entry. Now as per our scenario first 
I want to assign high priority cases to the queue. For that, in a field, you need to select the case priority. Here you can see, click on it and then select operator equals. In the value, you can enter manually. As you click on lookup icon, here you can see there are three values in case priority. So as per our scenario, if any case priority is high, select it, then insert selected. Then what we need to do, we need to assign those cases to the queue. So here by default is user and we need to select queue and then click on lookup icon. As you click on it, here you can see, now here you can see there are four queues which I have created. I have created video on how to create queues in Salesforce. I will give link in description box. You can go through it. And then here I have created case from high priority queue. I am clicking on it. Now here you can see the queue has selected. After that, when record is created and owner is queue, if you don't reassign that owner, you can click on it. Then you can also select email template as in response to the user. And here, as I said, we can also select team members to the case also. Then click on a save button. As I save this, here you can see role entries, criteria and assign to. Now to select another criteria, again click on new button and then select the criteria for entry. The case origin is equals to the phone. Insert selected and then we need to assign particular user for that click on lookup icon and here I am selecting Alex Anderson as I click on it and then simply click on save button. Now here you can see two rule entry criteria. Now let's create a case for that navigate to the case object and then click on new button. Before creating a case here you can see case owner is different and now I am creating a case test assignment rule for case priority. Then I am selecting the mandatory fields. The case priority is high. Then case origin is email. And here you need to select assign using active assignment rule. Click on it. And if you want to send an email, you need to click on this also. Then click on save button. As the record gets saved, here you can see the case owner has changed. That means when the priority of case is high, then the automatically it will assign to the queue. Let's try to create case with case origin. Test case with origin. Then case origin is phone. Then click on this checkbox assign using active assignment rule then click on save. And now here you can see the case owner has changed. The case says which case origin is phone it will assign to the Alex Anderson. Now let's see we will select case priority is high and then case origin is phone. After that we will see to whom the case will assign. Click on new test both criteria. Now select the priority is high and then case origin is phone. Click on checkbox and then save. Here you will see even we selected case priority and case origin. After that the case owner is Q because of this rule entry order. If the rule entry order will be like case origin of phone is first and the case priority high is second one then it will be assigned to the Alex Anderson. This is how the case assignment rule works. In this video we have seen what is case assignment rule. Then what should remember while creating a case assignment rule then steps to create it and then we have taken in scenario and I have explained how to create it. If you like the video click the like button subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get regular updates. Thank you.